level uh, level one, but also scales really well into the game. Level yes. 13 is when people really talk about hitting those benchmarks uh, with the shotgun knees. And it is going to be the Kazante regardless. This is Bubo throwing down the gauntlet. Yeah, Kaisa's is... not joining, then that's that's not a full commitment. Yeah, inspired Cena. Now. Maybe he can turn it into a flip. Umpty's got it low, down to about 750. Busio with the dredge line onto Yon, but it ain't gonna matter. They've already claimed the Drake for the side of Team Liquid. Busio's about to drop it, it's first blood. Over to Here for the smolder. Yon's trying to get away. Busio goes for the dredge line, but the flash from Yon is well timed, so he's yeah. very scary on the volleyball. He just turned the turret off. The dives become very simple at that point, and here comes Mob. It's Yon picking up the kill. FlyQuest knew this was coming, and they summoned up. They're going to bring more yeah. reinforcements. APA has joined back up. But he'll immediately go back to the wave in mid. FlyQuest maintaining control over the Drake. Four men strong. Got it down to about 500 HP. It'll be secured by Fly, but now they gotta try to get away. Here comes the Weaver's Wall, and Busio is again the target. Impact has been brought into the fray now, and he goes in as Jensen tries to get away, but the damage just pours through, and Yon kills him with the snot. Five stacks, and Masu and Busio have not seen Volibear since he saw him walk down towards bot, so they are backing off that. But the stacking really starts to accelerate as you get that splash yep. damage oh, as well. There's not even a flash required. They just immediately go for the Wombo on Jensen. Inspire tries to turn it around, but there ain't no damage. APA escapes, and both top laners are ready to join the scrap. Inspired gonna get juggled around here next. There goes another rock. There goes a double kill for APA. Busio tries to hook somebody in. But Terrible when you're this behind early, and Jensen likely to die again. Yeah, Umpty just jumps at him here with a Sky Splitter. APA can set up the easy knockback with a Seismic Shove. Inspire tries to jump in and kill off the Talia, but it ain't gonna work. APA goes on a killing spree and Jensen drops. Yon picking up the next one. There goes Inspire. Here's your loot pinata from Busio. Yeah, trying to look for a play, but we'll see if Whippo can sidestep. Yep, Whippo just stepping forward to avoid the knockback of the Seismic Shove and the stun. A little bit more, but there's game is plenty kind of, of firepower here. There it is. Sky Splitter from Umpty just doing the work to zone away the rest of FlyQuest. Whippo and Inspired are gonna try to make a move on Impact here on the bottom side, but Impact goes all out. He's looking to try to deal with Whippo here. He wants to get away. Inspired chasing after it's a full-on team fight. There comes your suppression. Whippo's grabbing the first kill, but Umpty's killed Inspired back in a trade. It'll be a one for one here with a start. Team Liquid still looking to see if they can find any more, and that potential seismic shove forces the flash out of Moss. The only benefit here for FlyQuest is that since they're so far behind, they have objective bounties up, and Jensen did get the top side objective bounty on the tower, but your whole base is still getting destroyed here. Yeah. TL are steamrolling through your territory. Look at the jungle lit up with wards now as well. They can get their reset up. Never mind. Umpty's even looking aggressive again. There's no flash on Masu. And when Smolder gets ahead, you just get even more ahead because you're buying all that early CDR. They're going to look for the fight. They're just immediately looking to burst Busio instead, but now Umpty's got to be careful because Whipple's ready to chase him down. Core JJ keeps him alive with oh. Devour, and now the Abyssal dive to go after the isolated Ergon. Whipple's going to be focused, going to be exploded, I would have to assume. One Last hit from Yawn and the man is that big of a lead with the safety of Core JJ Tom Kench, the warm embrace, you know nobody's <laughs> going down. I mean he has to pull them in, find that big fear on multiple people with that all team, maybe they can make something happen. All right, fight starting out as Whippo's the first target. The seismic shove right back into the unraveled earth, but now Busio's going for the dredge line. Whippo barely getting away for now. They shoot out the harpoon, but they are going to find the fear beyond death just yet. Inspire charging into the back, looking for Yon, but he ain't going to grab him. Yon goes unstoppable, and now Whippo's about to drop too. Impact is fearless on the front line as Busio and Masu head for the hills, but the Weaver's wall is ready to ride, and Busio is gone again. A double kill back to Impact. Completely running the show start to finish in game number one, 23 minutes in, and they're gonna claim a Baron. So I was gonna be like, oh my God, their team fighting is so insane. You guys are stopping them a little hard right now to be uh, be back in all chat. Yaps in America. <laughs> okay, that one's even better than Yappa. Yapped in America. I like the, I like the, the original. The team but... Liquid Avengers, man. They are just oh. clobbered yeah. on this game. <laughs> Impact versus Whippo. Impact, it decides he wants the fight. Whippo trying to get away back over the wall there with a flash, but Team Liquid brought more firepower. Yon is dominating. He's at that break point, 240. 40 stacks, 5v4 for TL for the next 40 seconds. Impact heard Whippo talking trash before the series. <laughs> he'll take the tank into your counter pick and he'll beat you anyway. Umpty coming in here. The engage from the Volley Bear is there again. Yawn is godlike. Team Liquid looking to end this one right now. Busio drops next. A triple kill for the Smolder. Tail as old as time. Song as old as Rod. Look at that, man. Smolder just runs him down. 
once he's got that break point. Now Team Liquid, with nobody to oppose him, goes straight for the Nexus turrets, straight for the Nexus right after. 19 to 1, 11,000 gold ahead. Team Liquid slaughters FlyQuest in game one. 25 and a half minute game with Smolder. Early levels. Yeah, what's time can. They'll have pushing top, pushing bottom lane. And Jensen doesn't necessarily win against Talia, but you can gank really easily. You press flash W, the guy's stunned. Yeah. You know, this yeah. him. He's featured on broadcast. 14 and 3. The more people that see his They're yapping, gonna fight him. Hey. the more powerful he gets. Hold on, it's a 2v2 here in the mid lane. A lot of burst down at APA. He tries to get out. Jensen needs a little more damage. Oh, no. He's not gonna get it! APA lives! Just barely unable to get the range for that auto. Yeah, Inspired wanted to flash in to oh, get the last hit, but it didn't work. Now, dead. Impact might just get a solo kill. What was Whippo talking about, where Impact's not the guy who can carry the game? Wait, and now Whippo you flash to kill yourself? Trying to way? juke around, but he just wastes the sun. Oh, Mark is the most efficient of trash talks. Oh, yeah. It's Bottom the side, classic. Though. Abyssal Dive brings Core JJ in between Busio and an escape route, but Inspired's ready for the 3v3. Oh, Busio's going to drop first. Yawn's still alive for now, but Inspired picks him up. Core and Umpty still trying to find more on the back end of this fight as Masu has to flash back away. Over in mid lane, APA's under pressure as a rotation from Whippo's going to find a kill. They will be able to grab this dragon, so that is something for them. Uh, but obviously, FlyQuest is going to be going pretty gold positive off that play. As you can see, Jensen now just about getting back to lane, and he's going to have that full wave at his spin, even if his lane isn't going well. Oh, nice hook from Busio. This is what FlyQuest wanted from him in that first game. Jensen's ready to go. APA has seen that bear Tibbers, and he does not want to see Yes, or more for Masu, and he got the kill and the assist. Impact potentially in trouble. Yeah, Impact's going to have to try to get away from Whippo here as the Dominic is used. They gotta make sure they don't give Cassante the angle to go all out and try to isolate one of them. The burst is enough, and Whippo will call them. Double on your Void Mites, and you just get so much gold that it makes it so easy to fight the next dragon. Tier 1 turret, but it's Impact and Umpty in a 2v1. Jensen just tries to burst down the Cassante. He flashes away from the burst from Sejuani, but Impact's gone all out, and APA showing up, collects the kill. Now Masu and Busio versus Yon and Kor back in the mid lane. This 2v2 isn't gonna go anywhere. Busio does not want to try to die these guys so close to that turret inspired has enough I don't think you want to commit to this dragon fight wait until the actual He's dragon looking. soul yeah they're going in they're ready to start fighting they're gonna try to burst down impact before anything else Yoink. inspire oh. makes his way into the back and just steals the drake it was all a distraction of bamboozle from FlyQuest. the only thing they're gonna lose is Tibbers and Whippo takes Good the at securing these smite fights so Umpty didn't even want to try and fight it and now Oh, nicely Spider-Man by Busio. The dredge line into the wall to buffer through that seismic shove. APA now in danger. Busio re-engaging with the enemy mid. And Team Liquid has to try to get out. Inspired wants to jump in. Core JJ forced to save APA. And Flippo makes his entrance into the fight. A beautiful kick on the yard. Inspired does it again with the Lee Sin. FlyQuest pick up the kill on the Varus. They don't lose a man doing it until Impact finds Mox. These last couple minutes, absolute robbery of a dragon steal. Free two tier, uh, tier two top. They get a tier two bot, a tier one bot. Inspired turning that last play with the flash hook onto APA, and then Inspired going in and getting the hook. Whippo wants to- uh Oh, APA does not hit the seismic shove. Whippo's still chasing after him, but he's already used the cooldown. Still he's, five he, more seconds before he's got the slice. He is, uh, he's really in there, boys. This croc is, oh, he finds the stun off the Weaver's wall, but the Seraph's embrace will keep Whippo, but only for a moment. Whippo will die, but he will drag APA down to hell with him. Still a Team Liquid lead in that department, but now a TP coming in for to reinforce impact. They're trying to make a move on to Jensen while the rest of FlyQuest has eyes on Barrett. Can Jensen by enough time. He flashes out of the seismic shove, and Tibbers is still burning impact down. Jensen is just going to waste as much time as humanly possible. Tibbers is still beating impact in the 1v1. Barely alive now. Finally, the bear's gonna die. APA should be able to pick up the kill here on the Annie. He's gonna get that. But now the fight back up with the Baron. Team Liquid trying to stop him, but they're stuck in a 3v4. Impact is making his way up, but the problem is he's got barely any HP to do it with. Inspired and Masu still with control over the Baron pit. Right now, Nautilus ulti down on Yon as APA tries oh. to ride the wall into the fight now. Seismic shot, they're gonna find a whole lot just yet. Oh. It's gonna be stolen by D. And Team Liquid claims the objective. Now Busio drops, and it's a double kill for Yon. Fly quest. The dragon, they go in there, and the smite fight but is... That's Cassante. 
So he is going to walk it off. Meanwhile, Yon shows up with the Chains of Corruption. Busio is going to lose about 60% health on that one. And Team Liquid, with their newfound control over the Rift, they are going to claim soul point with that third drink. On FlyQuest, you got to find a big kick or a big engage that hit multiple members. It can't just be on one. Oh, he tries to go in for Yon, but there's no follow-up. What is Inspire doing? He's just going to be killed instead. Impact gets the shutdown. Now Whippo's in the middle of everybody all alone. Yon's finally shut down. And the Croc finds his man. Core JJ tries to escape, and Whippo is dominating the fight. FlyQuest finds the angle. Inspire sacrifice is not in vain. Humpty will at least get Boosio on his way out. Everything and the kitchen sink at him. Q onto the Tom Kench. Warhawks kicks him away and from the. Gave them the edge they needed. Now Impact's about to face check as Whippo pops the Dominus to charge up the Fury. It's only him and Boosio right now, so not a ton of damage to try to kill this tank. Inspired is going to show up. There's your Pathmaker. Impact trying to go unstoppable here. He'll bring one of the guys through the wall with him here with the all out. Impact still trying to escape while the rest of oh. Team Liquid goes for the tier two turret back in the mid lane. Inspired with a dragon kick to the head as Jensen and Masu now try to mount the 2v4 defense. Jensen's on the right side of the Weaver's wall and Masu has to flash away from the wrong side. Now Jensen gets a multi stun and Core is barely hanging on. Flash over the wall from Busio and the rip die rips Core apart. Now Umpty tries to escape as Inspired kills Yon. Masu wants to cut away from APA, but he can't do it today. A double kill for the mid laner from Team Liquid, but surely he will not escape. He kites back into the enemy base, and the ace comes through for Flyer. Layering those cooldowns. And they're gonna give up that dragon, even though it is Dragon Soul possibility. Teal really need to be the ones starting out the fight. If they can be the ones pushing up cooldowns, it's gonna go so much better for them as Inspired's looking. Yeah, Inspired wanted to jump in and try to find Yon, but now Whippo has made the flank happen. The burst comes through. Yon stays alive, but they kick him back over the wall. So even once he gets spit out, he can't participate in the fight. Core JJ jumps in the middle of everybody, but it's just a food delivery. APA is gonna be focused down next as Whippo continues to survive and thrive. He pushes forward with flight quest. Every man still going. Hit back at the kill on Busio, but it costs them everything. A double kill for Jensen, an ace for one for FlyQuest. And that could potentially be it. Look at the timers there. They're seeing if they can actually tank this up. They just have one minion. The next one's coming in, but they're pushing for the Nexus, and they're pushing for the tie. It's 10 seconds on core. It's so much longer on everybody else. Game number one was a stop, but FlyQuest woke up for game number two. They're gonna try to finish this one right now as Core JJ dives in alone, only to stand and die alone. Core falls, FlyQuest ties up the series. It's one to one. Champions play at all time. It's like only range champion. Oh, oh, oh yes. Okay. The gameplay comes out for Bwipo. We actually mentioned this on the Wait, live. This on the live dive. He is is so important, right? And he doesn't have TP. Whippo TP's back, pushes him out, and now Whippo's gonna be zoning him completely off. Yeah, Whippo's got him zoned away, but Busio's now the focus here in this bot side, 3v3. APA already used the Falling Star back in mid to force Jensen away and blow his flash, but it's first blood over to Umpty's Jax. FlyQuest now in retreat as Inspired and Masu try to get back. Jensen's made the rotation over, but the Tibbers was also used earlier. Both mid laners have joined the fight, but it's already over for FlyQuest. Getting out on the map, making things happen <laughs> they, with his TFL. This ward, this ward behind Dragon, saw him get in there. Okay. Busio's got to be careful, though. He does not want to overcommit in the bot side river. This was the tragedy of game number one for FlyQuest. And now with APA down here to help burn it away, there it is. Up Six reps stacking for them, so right. not going to be super dangerous for TL. And TL actually taking the opportunity to use their bottom side presence to make sure uh, they can get some extra damage on this tower, get some turret plate money for themselves, and maybe Busio some catfish food. Yeah. Let's see. This is a 3v1. Busio's going to try to endure this tank it up. The burst is pretty significant, though. Core JJ, one more turret shot, nearly oh, kills him. Calculated. But close don't count. Team Liquid pick up their second kill of the game. They're going to get a ton of plate money, too. Inspired, Masu and Whippo, seeing if they can find some kind of an answer across the map here. But now a TP will reinforce the bottom lane turret for FlyQuest. The Catfish is back. He as Impact the gets dove, as the Dawning Shadow does not do enough damage to kill him off. Whippo's still looking for one last shot. The point blank pick.
pistol as APA finishes him. That'll be a one for one. And he's just kind of running around and gold guarding people, so he's got to find some sort of action on the map. Okay, Jensen and Inspired gonna try to get this kill on impact here. They drop the Timbers, but Umpty's ready to respond. Now the GP all trying to keep Jensen alive, but it ain't gonna work here just yet. Inspired needs more damage. They finally kill impact off, but Umpty's about to make it two kills. Whippo barely surviving back in the mid lane. No! He died! Where's the typing? Where's the typing? Oh, he, he typed. APA's on a killing spree now as again, out of the replay. We're back to live, and APA is 3-0-0 zero and zero on one of his signature Oof. champions. What, what else can he say besides oof, man, when you die like that, you feel like a fool. He said, what are you doing? Watch your screen. That's what else <laughs> he could say. <laughs> He's letting Whippo know that he's gonna want that one back. Team Liquid up 2,000 gold. They've got Rift Herald in their pocket. Busio's trying to join up with Masu and Inspired to grab a kill on Yawn, but it ain't gonna work out. Here's your gangplank ulti. Dawning Shadow's not enough either. Now Umpty's coming here. in. Team Liquid is ready for the fight. Umpty finds the lockup, but busio has got the save. Inspired out of the heat for now, and here comes Core JJ now. He's gotta be careful trying to get away from this one. Umpty jumping right back to make sure there's no kill onto the Nautilus. And that's gonna be a benefit for TL because they have APA getting a tower on top side. That's gonna be outer tower gold for the Aurelian. Jump against C9 and how they were able to beat them. He talked about how, yeah, they just gave us too much free stuff in side lanes. Like they showed too many guys and too many so points. much more if Diego's not getting that quick kill. And then if we see Aurelian Soul in team fights, lock up Tibbers with the E, then all the benefit that we saw from Annie last time around where the Tibbers was burning everyone and demolishing these team fights isn't going to be there as well. I think there's a lot of pressure on Whippo to kill. Shivana gets 5 MR. Shivana came out in 2012, <laughs> all right? Shivana will have her time of Shivana is actually just cosplaying a dragon. Oh, <laughs> all right. Fair. Bottom lane, we have what could be a dive on Whippo. He's going to try to turn it around. Dying Shadow snipes off the... Side gold. Yep, we will give you solo tower gold. We will give you minion waves. FlyQuest trying to come up and challenge his team. TL wants to go for the Drake. Whippo flashing over the wall to keep himself safe as Umpty tries to engage on Jensen, who has to flash out to barely escape himself. The Singularity is down. FlyQuest is on the run. Whippo is fired and Jensen all barely hanging on as Masu tries to kite it out. He pops the cliffs to get away from the gold card. Impact has to escape off to the side. Team Liquid has somehow not found a single kill off of that. FlyQuest will retreat in time. That Singularity was insane from APA. Dragging Inspired away from the kill on to Umpty, so neither team drops a champion, but TL come out with the objective. Okay, now, oh no, Busio. The Tom Kench tries to flash out and live through it. The thick skin, he gets over the wall and boots. that Banshee's Veil, which I think is really smart against yeah. this burst comp. Uh-oh, Core JJ getting jumped on there by Inspired. He goes Whoa. back into the trench line. Team Liquid loses their support before the fight even really starts, but now Jensen's about to drop the Singularity. They barely keep him alive thanks to Busio, and Inspired gets shot down by Yawn. Whipper wants to get in there, but he can't do any damage with the barrels. Umpty drops, and Jensen... Turn, but is immediately deleted and it leads to too much pressure. Here we go. All right, Whippo getting jumped on by Impact with APA right there. Whippo's flash is Fly. Fly quest. You can see they're contemplating making some kind of an approach, but there's, just, there's no just no point in it, man. That Baron is TLs all day. Three and a half thousand. Twisted Fate ult to get them the pick that results in Baron. And now the better split push team has the Baron buff to split push with. He annihilates the turret on tower side. Uh, on top side there. A nice little sneaky dragon here from FlyQuest, but they're gonna lose so much of their base. Okay, there's your Gangplank ulti. There's the Dawning Shadow, and they immediately kill Umpty before Team Liquid can fight back. Impact wants to make a the important member. Uh, it's really tough to, to know which target you're gonna have to commit to. Also, since you don't have control of the minions, you aren't gonna have control of the vision setup. Uh, Cause you grouped up bottom. There it is, the Ready to push play. towards the tier two. Jensen and Busio having to back away. That tier two is not long for this world. Yon gets rooted, but it's not like there's gonna be any follow-up to it, really. The turret drops, Team Liquid up almost 5,000. Gold. He's just constantly gonna draw you down and make someone respond to him. FlyQuest trying to push out down the mid lane here. And once again, it's gonna be Inspired jumping on Core oh, JJ. Battle, but he's gotta be careful. Impact jumps in the middle of everybody. Core JJ still barely gonna stay alive for now. The skies descend, but nobody's down on FlyQuest just yet. Umpty kills off Whippo. Inspired dying to the breath of light as Umpty grabs the double kill. And Busio heads for the hills. He tries to escape, but it's Masu about to die next. They can't quite find him. And APA is unstoppable. Masu and Jensen are running the wrong way. And APA is about to shoot.
show them why. A double kill for the Dragon, and Jensen has nothing to do but wait for his own demise. He'll even waste the teleport trying to get away. A triple for APA, and the game is about to end. TL Split Push eventually gets their victory. They're on to Nexus turrets now, 15 to six. Impact on the TF top, APA on the Aurelian Soul mid, and Team Liquid is going to match point. Deathless on the signature. Champion. On last pick though. Yeah, but that that's, feels... that's the cost of, I, I, clearly they thought the TF was a big enough of a problem last game, TF and Jax took up the band slots. I will say is he is self-counting himself though. He did. People yeah. pick Olaf into Cassante. Yeah, this might... is gonna take forever though. If the bot lane comes, like, I guess we'll see. No, Poppy's still burning it down. Sonic Wave hits Umpty. APA is waiting over the wall. Umpty secures the red buff, but now Jensen's coming in too. Inspired with only 400 HP, Umpty singing the same song. Sonic Wave, resonating striking, coming through with the step that presence is first blood. Oh, Jensen, inspired lives. APA tries to flash in. He throws another rock and he'll get the kill, but surely he drops to Jensen here. APA, no help, no mana, no way out. FlyQuest up two to one. Man, that is big time in the ensuing play, and he's still just on two camps. He's not even level three. Emily Rand he's says, dead. He's oh dead. my gosh, he's dead. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Okay, he survived, he survived with a W. He flashes in the lane. <laughs> Wimbo wants to turn it back on impact. Now Here running down into the river. <laughs> Umpty's ready to join him. Undertow hits impact. Can't catch Whippo him. is still He's just running. He's got no W yet. Inspired no ready speed. to. Okay, insane in game number four. Yeah, both of them knowing that the other one using their uh, smites earlier, they're gonna go for the dive. It's the hex flash from Umpty. Jensen stuck underneath the turret. He doesn't have any way to fight back and Inspired jumps in, but it's too little too late. Core JJ jumping in next. He's ready to join up. Inspired barely misses the kill on Umpty. He's got him down to 50 HP. PA, nice seismic shove. Core flashing over the wall for the dredge line, the rip time, the lockdown, the explosion. Repeat jungle invade. And Core JJ's jealous. He wanted a piece. Now Yawn is left alone. This is a big wave. If this dive works out, Yawn's gonna lose on a lot. It'll be a one for one trade, but Masu gets the kill. Yeah, that's still game number two. That game we had six kills in six minutes. This time it's seven kills in six minutes. Last game only one kill by 10 minutes. Game number three was a little bit of an outlier there. And as FlyQuest have Busio rotated up into the top half of the map to make sure that Inspired is protected as he takes these first three Void yeah, Blocks. And they also need to really cover Whippo on this crashing wave uh, because he, the wave was so bad after he actually died. And this massive wave has been stacked up here from Impact. You have got to be able to farm that. We know, of course, that Jungler is on the other side of the map, so he's always going to be safe, but you want to be up there to cover. All right, Masu's under tower here, so I think Team Liquid are going to be able to try and burn this one down, but Inspired, and he stole a dragon before with Lee Sin quite easily in the face of Umpty. Definitely has a QQ burst damage. He wants it. Umpty's ready with the steadfast presence. Inspired jumps into the pit. The Drake goes over to Inspired. FlyQuest bringing up the rumble. Masu's ready to go. Jensen gets the kill on Umpty. Shaped for fighting. He heads into the topside river looking for some fruits, but Umpty's ready to answer him. Whippo, he goes CC immune. He wants to eat the honey fruits. It'll be a 1v2, and Impact will help Umpty smack him down. Yeah, pretty good for him getting back in, but now Inspired knows jungle's on topside so he's going. It's another massive minion wave and Inspired is ready to deny it to Yawn. Busio may again be the sacrificial lamb, but this time Callista's ready with a save. Fly quest, kill them both. In the bottom side presence to try to keep Yawn back in the game. Hold on now, APA going after Busio, but this is one of the big strengths of Callista. You just mm -hmm. save the support. And meanwhile, Inspired is up grabbing that second set of grubs at the same time. And every time you make a bot side play like that, opportunity cost is top side. The grubs are going over like you say, hey, Tibber, is doing some work on impact. And I just I just really like this when they actually swap this around is got lane. Yeah, we've got another engage coming out this time. There's no way to save Busio's life. He tries to bring core with him here, but nice efficient little gank there to get a key summoner spell. Yep, that dragon will go for free over to Team Liquid up against Whippo's Olaf. They forced the Ragnarok out of him there as the dredge line would have sealed his fate otherwise. Gives APA enough time to burn down the turret. Pick that one up for themselves. First turret of the game going over to TL, trying to equalize some of that gold. But Jensen's about to get the same thing back up in the top lane. Yeah, on the left side of stream, we saw that Busio roamed up and actually pushed Impact back, so made him cancel his base. Lane to push in and then look for his, his roams. Yeah. See if they can actually... Oh, Core wanting to go in there with the dredge line as Inspired 
he engages on him, but now he's still stuck in the front. He flashes under the way of the piercing arrow, but this time, it's empty, ready to cut him off. Impact grabs the kill, but the Equalizer drops in over the top. Jensen doesn't have the damage, and APA is gonna grab the ghost. They earn themselves dragon number two. And I really like how TL is actually playing around Whippo. You're seeing Core constantly hooking. These Raptors, that has occurred this game. <laughs> this time around goes to Umpty, uncontested. For now. He's in trouble, though. He's gonna try to get away, but the CC is too much. Masu gets the kill credit. Still at over 8,000 health. It is not dropping quickly. You know that they want to make sure they get this smite-rend combo correctly. They've already used the Ragnarok from Whippo's Olaf. FlyQuest still trying to burn the Baron down, but Busio's been killed. FlyQuest are forced away. The objective still got 3k HP. It's by his barely alive. The Reign of Arrows. Young gets him with the auto attack. FlyQuest crumbles. Team Liquid. Corruption hits him with the WQ, gets him down to about 30, 40% health. Then they get the kill on the side. Everyone has to run for FlyQuest. It's easy kills in the chase down. You gave over the Baron. But that being said, it's so tough against Talia, against Nautilus, against Poppy to actually get in there and make that play happen without it just getting... TL did hard commit to it, but they're not going to go for it. And TL, again, like Clockwork, they'll play through side lanes. They're so good in the mid game, in the late game. If they're not being pressured, they'll just slowly chip away at you. They take down that mid tier one. Everyone leaves mid, so what does APA do? He backs off top. He knows that he's going to be pressured there. Impact pushes up bot. They're just playing based on where everyone could be from FlyQuest. Now, his team moves in the jungle. Umpty covers him. APA steps up. That one back for FlyQuest, but you can't live in the past. This is finals. Oh, this is elimination game. And Busio may just get eliminated now with a dredge line from Core JJ. No rumble mean. Not in range of Masu again, you know, to be able to actually get pulled back when you're that far out by yourself. It wasn't yeah. going to be able to survive, so they get the easy kill. And now, Ghost being popped, they're looking for Whippo, and there's no tier two to protect him. Ghost answered. He's got the Ghost to get away, but it doesn't get you over terrain. Uh, okay, fine. but there's, yeah, there's nobody else here. I mean, it's just impact. I don't think they're that worried about it. They forced the Ragnarok out. However, there's the red carpet. Whippo's gonna try to run impact down. He doesn't get him quite yet. Impact's still alive in the front line as Yon grabs the killing spree back on Jensen. Impact lives as Jensen and Whippo both die. Impact has that killer instinct. That is crazy. He went for that chase. He got it. He lived. And Team Liquid, they're going to end off of it. They're going to TP back in. If they get one kill, the game is over. FlyQuest have the 3v5, have to defend. Team Liquid wants to end this series right here. They do not have many minions to work with. The Can't next the wave kill. coming now. So they Impact. Uh, and then bringing Umpty over as well to complete the squad. Core JJ as one of the main the roster that people expected TL to be winning the LCS with, and they are on the Baron, potentially one fight for winning the series. Team Liquid starting it up, and FlyQuest, no, they can't afford to give it away. Impact on the front line yet again. Equalizer to try to stop his escape, but it ain't gonna work. A little bit of footwork gets him over that dangerous zone, and Inspired is very, very low to try to steal anything. There's already a wave for TL in the bottom lane. Busio's in the middle of everybody. Umpty is still trying to stand and fight, but Busio's gonna grab the kill on him as Masu saves his support. Impact still trying to slice and dice his way to the middle of the team fight, but a nice seismic shot from APA. Easier reset in pushing out the extra wave, but we go right back to it. Inspired no flash. A core JJ immediately engaging on the enemy jungler. That's a big kill. Yawn is godlike. Inspired is gone. And FlyQuest are staring down the barrel of a 4v5 against a team liquid that's already so far ahead. Six and a half thousand gold. Umpty and Yawn just two manning the Baron while APA and Impact and Core can keep everybody else from FlyQuest at bay. Yes, the Baron's gonna be slow, but it'll be a short thing. That's the advantage of winning the previous team fight. You've got the vision control on Baron. You got to reset, push out the minions first. So you get to make the next play and they don't let Inspired move an inch. And they're gonna be able to grab Soul off this as well. They just move right down towards Soul. So now you have a Pope Varus here with Infernal Soul once they secure this. They have the Baron buff. They'll have a 9,000 gold lead plus the stats from the Soul. So call it 13 and they will be able to push here to try to end the game against FlyQuest, who needs some sort of a heroic play to even stand this light. Any sort of opening where they can get a surprise. It even looks like they have bot pushing for them. That's stacking up as well. So TL gonna be pushing up in three lanes. Here comes the Weaver's Wall to section them off. That tower is forfeit. Exactly, the whole point is to just guarantee no defense with a tier three turret in the top lane. The bot lane inhib has respawned. So this top lane inhib would be the first one they kill. If they can push up and claim it, they've got two of the Baron Enchanted Cannon minions ready to go. FlyQuest scrambling to try to defend 
defend. The mid lane tier three also under pressure. Core JJ with a dredge line and on Bwimbo. Equalizer comes in over the top. The Olaf still surviving for now. He's not gonna get a whole lot done. Impact on the other side of the wall. He's just fine as Meyer's gonna die first. Jensen's gonna die second. Masu pulls Bucio to safety. But what safety is even left? Dredge line ain't gonna do it. And Team Liquid to the victory march. Masu and Bucio barely getting away back into the fountain as Bwimbo tries to front line. Team Liquid will run them over for the first time since 2019. Team Liquid is the best team in the LCS, and they are your Spring Split 2024 champions. After GM, analysts, everyone included. Yeah, right Rain over up there, Dodo, Steve, of course, guys who have been with the Orc for so long through thick and thin. Yeah. Getting to see the team on top once again, heading to MSI as the number one seed here. Thank you very much. I'm here, Core, APA, Yawn, you've thrown in. We're gonna get a chance to talk to all the Team Liquid guys later, I believe, but specifically, Core JJ, 2019, you win. 2020, 22, 21, 23. How does it feel now, finally getting another title? Yeah, definitely I feel so nice. I mean, winning is, Winning is nice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep hungry for the next win again. And APA, I know less than a year ago, you weren't even in the LCS. How does it feel now to be a champion? It, it definitely feels so surreal to be a champion now. Like, I tried so, so hard this, this split in the offseason to get as good as I can, and I'm glad it paid off. Umpty, first split in the LCS, one LCS title. You were so excited after the victory. Walk me through that moment. What I can say is that, guys, uh, in my life, I didn't have any career. Now I have. I will say, I proved myself, guys! Amchi, why, why does this mean so much to you? What you say, sorry? Why does it mean so much to you? Why are you so emotional? Because in my last, like, I should say, old, like, long years, I didn't have any careers, and everyone was ignoring me, like, kind of, you're just only, can't do only only at the late, you're just bullshit, or kind of something. And now I win everyone, I'm the LCS Jungle King now. How I cannot be emotional? You earned it. Impact as well, sixth LCS title of all time. How does this one compare to the rest? Uh, <clears throat> sorry? How does it feel to win this sixth title? Uh, I just do my job, you know, like, I didn't feel like that. I mean, to me, kind of easy that, that game, my opinion, like second game too. I mean, they're choking, you know, so like, also, we can make it finally win again, right? Because me, I think. <laughs> uh, Jan, I just have to ask you, before we send you guys outside, uh, you set the LCS record for most kills in a playoffs. But also, you've had this long road with Team Liquid. How does it feel going from two years on the Academy team, now your second year on the LCS stage, to finally win the title? Uh, honestly, the win is like nice, but it was more so I didn't want to lose the top jungle of FlyQuest. They're, <laughs> they're so fucking annoying, man. <laughs> like, their skill level was not as good as their egos, I think. They're, they're, they're good, but like, they were talking too much shit. It's like, I mean, they're, honestly, I'm not the person to shit talk someone after I win, but my God, they would not shut up after they won. <laughs> if you guys want to trash talk, be as good as this guy. <laughs> All right, we're going to hear more from the rest of Team Liquid. You guys can head outside. Congratulations on the win. The fans have been amazing. I believe we're going to be sending it up to the analyst desk lounge at the moment while you guys move it outside. So stay on the stream. Congratulations, guys. It's been an amazing year so far. Good luck at MSI. Well, that man's taking it with him. <laughs> If you want to trash talk, be as good as this guy points uh, immediately. That is amazing. Congrats to TL. What a series. None of none of us believed. None of us. Jat was actually yeah. the only believer on this desk. TL Jat. <laughs> it's um, actually yeah. crazy to see it. And, and just seeing the emotions from the players, from Umpty specifically, yeah. that yeah. was crazy. What I a mean, feeling. Man, I've watched Umpty for so long. And like I said, all of his teams were either like, 
just generally not good are really unlucky, yeah. right? So you could tell the kind of cathartic emotional release where he's just like, you guys, I am not bad, you know? Like, I am good. This, like, yeah. he didn't need it to validate it, but it does validate it, right? Nothing In, like, feels better proving the haters wrong. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I haven't. No. That was the be that was the first one. Yeah, that's rage. They're that's mad. rage fuel. They're they're sick of <laughs> other people trash talking them. They're out of here. You could tell Yawn was just storing it up. Yes. <laughs> There's the Tyler one, one thing, thing specifically to four. Like, like there is so much that happened throughout this year, and my, my eyes are on APA. For last year, I felt like yes, he came in seconds uh, on the second split, second half.